previously on Gospel Cast. We are still running our series, the Image Series, and we talked about the New Age Idols agenda. Now, the New Age Idols are things, anything that have the capacity to draw your attention and keep your attention for a reasonable time. You see, idol worship has changed. Now, there are idols everywhere, and you yourself have the capacity to turn into an idol. And we have to understand this because God does not want to share his place in our heart with anything. So, what they do, one of the agenda is to make sure that they keep you anxious and troubled about many things and these things begin to affect your heart that the place of god in your heart could be compromised gospel cast continues right after this okay i'm so excited to welcome you to brand new gospel cast today my name is ty and i'll be your host for today i want to give a special shout out to three of my friends who joined our whatsapp meditation group today esther edith and abiola god bless you and i believe you enjoy the group so let's get it all started today today we are still talking about the new age idols agenda and we are talking about the one of the most used words today when it comes to do with god it's okay god understand now if you want to know the definition of the new age idol you have to go to our twitter handle at the gospel index or follow our facebook page uh the gospel index uh, facebook.com forward slash the gospel index one and and you are just search the gospel index on facebook and you will see the community and then you get to listen to some of the things and see some of the things we've done before uh now today we're going to look at that word it's okay god understand you see it, when it comes to god and the things of god things that have eternal value it and a future we always put it to chance it's okay god understand and and you're not going to try some of those things with your job with your family with your friends but when it comes to god we always say it's okay god understands so one of the things that the new age idols do is that they want to put you in a place where you compromise where you become lukewarm and just say it's okay god understand i try my best he's a loving god and now look at what jesus said himself to Laodicean church and he was talking about the church this was a revelation of john and he was talking about the future of the churches now look at this revelation chapter 3 verse 14 when jesus himself through the revelation of john was speaking to the Laodicean church and he said and unto the church of the Laodiceans, right this thing said the amen the faithful and true witness the beginning of god creation i know thy work that thou art neither heart cold or hurt i would i would that thou wert cold or hot so because thou art lukewarm and neither hot or cold i will spoil you out of my mouth now look at verse 17 because it is critical to our time now people now are after vanities pursuing things that do not have uh, eternal values and 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 possessions that fade away and forgetting that this is just the tip of the iceberg of the eternity that you spend ahead and people don't have this insight in them and the thing that reaches are the cars you have the money in your bank account the places you've gone to the the, the travels you've made and all these things no 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 these things are just wretched temporal things that happens here on earth now look at what jesus said because this is exactly what's happening jesus said to this church because thou say it i am rich and increase it with goods and have need of nothing and knowest thou not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked now watch this now the church of the Lucians were saying that i am rich and 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 i'm increased with goods and i have need of nothing have you noticed that in our time these days when people begin to make little cash and make money and feel comfortable they say they don't need god and 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 it's in the bible because jesus was saying this to the Lucian church that you say i need nothing i don't need god i don't need to stress. I don't need to pray. I don't need to fast. I need nothing. But look at what Jesus said to them. He said, "But you are wretched. thou art wretched. Wretched here is talking about that you don't have any spiritual investment. That you don't have any treasure stock up for you. Miserable because you are you are troubled about many things that have no value. And all your life you're chasing vanities that will end. And even when you die, some people will take and people who you never knew will enjoy some of this thing you are hustling for. But yet." Yet you have nothing stored for you. Then he said, and poor and blind because you're not seeing beyond now. You cannot live your life without making a plan, investment. I will have an impact in your future. 
And then the last one he said is then naked. <laughs> okay, he said, I cancel thee, I cancel thee to buy of me gold. Now it's important we understand because we say God understand, God understand, God understand. No. At this place he's saying to them that I cancel do something. But look at verse 19. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous therefore and repent. He don't want you to put it to chance. He don't want you to, to just say, Oh, God understand. You know, God understand. You have to work out your salvation. You have to bring up treasure for yourself in eternity you have to begin to plan like somebody who's a pilgrim on a journey to make your life on earth count and make impact for god because you're not going to have a second second chance in most cases to live back on it and do the things you're supposed to do jesus talked about the story of lazarus and the rich man who said that tell my brothers that they should prepare the way while you're on earth so you have to do that you don't have to let all this thing occupy your mind and you can't do anything about god and you give it a chance and say god understand he wants you to be zealous he wants you to repent he wants you to be committed to what he's doing and he wants you to do that quick god bless you i'll see you tomorrow